Praised and blessed be God Most High, through His Son, Jesus Christ. I am He who loved poverty. I am He who was married to the Most Holy and Perfect Virgin Mary. I am the Saint of all Saints. I am Saint Joseph, the loving Foster Father of Jesus. I come today sent by God the Holy Trinity and by your loving Mother, Mary, to deliver a very important message for all of mankind. While I lived on the earth, I was quiet and hidden among men. Now, today, in this world, in this time, I am compelled to try and help you. Now I, the most quiet among men, am ready to speak. First, I wish to say that if this world is to be spared from its many calamities that are coming, it must restore the family to the proper place. Let all men know that once a child is conceived, you are forever the head of that child. You are forever its parent and guardian. In this life and in the next, you take on the role of a watchful angel always guarding that child forever. To save the family unit, you must return to family prayer. Family prayer is everything. It is through this time that the child learns what it means to have true faith. The things that you teach your children today are the things that will impact on their future tomorrow. Think of it. What are you teaching your children? The mistake of a father or mother will also become that child's mistake. Thus it is called the pattern of repetition. The only way to break that pattern for good is to surrender to God, who is Jesus, and pray, pray, pray. Teach the children of this world the importance of prayer, faith, hope, charity, and most of all, love not human love, but God's love. My message is very simple. A mother and father who are filled with love for God and for one another will have children who are also filled with love. Please return the family unit to its proper place. Return the family unit to God. To the world I also wish to say, come to me, the lowly carpenter who wishes to intercede for you. I am the guardian of all virgins, and all the demons in hell fear my name. I will protect you from all attacks of the evil one when you pray and ask me. Just ask. Just as Mary has graces and blessings to shed upon you, so do I. I am the humble carpenter sent from heaven to ask you all to return to the living God. I, Saint Joseph, the most loving foster father of Jesus, bless you all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for your response. Ad Deum. July 1st, 2001. Second Message. My dear ones, I am the saint of all saints. I am Saint Joseph. While I lived in this life, I became a model of purity of heart, living in great silence. Today's world must learn the virtue of being silent. Too many people speak things that they do not mean and are hurting the souls of God's children. My message for the world is simple. Keep silent and pray. Go in peace, children of God Most High. Ad Deum. September 13th, 2005 Third Message St. Joseph appeared unexpectedly. He is reaching towards his chest. He is pulling out his heart. It's his most chaste heart. And there's a stick with a lily growing out of it in the midst of the flames of his heart. My son Jesus and the Holy Blessed Virgin Mary 
desire that there be devotion made to my most chaste heart. Let all people receive and make the first Wednesday's devotion to my most chaste heart. They will receive purity in abundance, and graces will abound for fathers if they will venerate this chosen, chaste heart of mine. I come to ask you to recite the five joyful mysteries of the Rosary on Wednesdays, and to spend time meditating upon my joys and sorrows, for I was there. The first five Wednesdays are to be made beginning in March. The first Wednesday of the month is dedicated to my most chaste heart. Fathers need a strong role model they can look up to, and they need to know that they can count on me. Graces will abound through this heart for all fathers who are the head of the household and for their families. Consecrate yourselves to my most chaste heart and venerate it often. I bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. April 2nd, 2008 Fourth Message as I am finishing praying the glory be, St. Joseph is appearing, and the baby Jesus is with him. St. Joseph is speaking. Praise be to Jesus and Mary. My little ones, before you can have devotion to my most chaste heart, you must get to know me. Pray to me, talk to me, get to know me. How can you have a great devotion and love for my chaste heart? when you cannot give to me your hopes, your desires, and your heart, your heart for my heart. Open your heart to me and get to know me. I, along with your heavenly mother, am another aid for you. I am the great intercessor along with my spouse, Mary Most Holy. I hold Jesus in my arms to show you that I too can lead you to him when you put your trust and hope in me. I call you to pray my Memorare every day, along with one Our Father, Hail Mary, and Glory Be. Go in peace. Memorare to Saint Joseph. Remember, O most pure spouse of the Virgin Mary, and my dearly beloved guardian, Saint Joseph, that never was it known that anyone who invoked your care and requested your help was left unassisted. Inspired with this confidence, I come to you, and with all the ardor of my spirit, I commend myself to you. Do not reject my prayer, O foster father of the Savior, but graciously receive and answer it. Amen. May 2nd, 2008 Fifth message. My dear children, I come, my little ones, in the name of Jesus and Mary. I invite you to the protection that you all seek. The protection is in my most chaste and pure heart. Consecrate yourselves to my heart, and you will be forever protected. I will be your protector, your father, and I will help you to stand strong in times of adversity and disbelief. You ask yourselves, how do I seek this protection, this great blessing? I say, repeat this prayer always when you pray, and you will be protected. O most chaste and pure heart of Saint Joseph, I consecrate myself to you, where all souls shall be protected. For love of thee, I surrender to thee, Amen. It is short and simple that anyone, anywhere can pray this prayer. Through consecration to my most chaste heart, I shall teach you how to live in the divine will. I invite you to prayer and to contemplate what has already been said. I will take your petitions to your most holy mother and she will present them to our Lord. Thank you for your response. Go in the great peace of God. I bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ad Deum. June 2nd, 
2008. Sixth Message. St. Joseph is here, and he's with the baby Jesus. He's cuddling him. He's holding him in his right arm. St. Joseph is speaking. My dear ones, you ask what graces and favors will be granted to you when you are consecrated to my heart. You will first receive the grace of purity. Second, you will receive the grace of holiness. And third, you will receive the grace of joy. It was in my purity and love for the Blessed Virgin Mary and Jesus that granted me the opportunity to not only hold the Savior in my arms, not only to be the spouse of Mary, but to grow in the divine will. I am the head of the Holy Family, so anything you ask of me, I will pray and intercede for all your needs. I bless you, my dear little ones, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now go in the peace of God. July 2nd, 2008 Seventh Message My dear little ones, today I desire you to understand that I am the Saint of all Saints. As the Saint of all Saints, I am also your protector, your guardian. I offer protection from evil spirits and from the attacks of the devil when you practice and have devotion to my most chaste heart. To the souls who will open their hearts to me, I will pour grace into their souls, namely purity. I desire my little ones to be chaste, in heart as well as in body. The most pleasing to God is a heart that possesses the virtues of love, mercy, purity, and forgiveness. This is truly where the Holy Spirit is invited to dwell and where I can pour forth my graces to you. Therefore, open your heart daily in prayer before my most chaste heart. In the silence and depth of your heart, I shall teach you how to live quietly, peacefully, in union with God and with each other. The union that I speak of comes by being close to God. By prayer and fasting, you will draw closer to God, and you will understand the unity of which I speak. I am with you on your journey to protect you from all attacks of the evil one. You must surrender and have complete trust and confidence, not only in my most chaste heart, but you must also have faith and trust in God. I wish my most chaste heart to be placed alongside devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Those who consecrate themselves to my heart will also receive two angels from each of the nine choirs. This promise will be fulfilled after the five first Wednesdays devotion is completed. First Wednesday's Devotion in Honor of the Chaste Heart of St. Joseph 1. Pray the Joyful Mysteries of the Rosary 2. Meditate on the Sorrows and Joys of St. Joseph 3. Go to Confession 4. Receive Holy Communion at Mass September 2, 2008 Eighth Message My dear little ones, I desire you to know how real the Holy Spirit is and how He desires to be in your lives. You have received Him through the grace of holy baptism. Do not reject His holy inspirations. If you reject His holy inspirations, you reject the Holy Trinity and you deny the third person of the Holy Trinity who is God. If the inspiration comes from God, it will last and God will open doors. If not, the inspiration will fade and you will know that it is not the will of God. God has given to each one of you in abundance the Holy Spirit 
as a guide and as a giver of gifts and inspirations. I ask you today to pray to the Holy Spirit for enlightenment and to guide you in your thoughts and your inspirations. I bless you, little ones, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now go, my little ones, in the great peace of God. June 2nd, 2010 Ninth Message God, in His merciful love, has given to you another Advocate to help you along the road to salvation, and it is my most chaste heart. I am with you and desire you to pray this prayer. O most chaste heart of Saint Joseph, wounded by the ingratitude of men, wounded by those who do not understand, and by those who do not accept the Lord as their God and Savior, those who offend you by offending the Heavenly Mother, we pray and consecrate ourselves to your most chaste heart, asking for peace and blessings to be given to the world. And as reparation for the sins committed against your heart, we consecrate this day of prayer to you. O most chaste heart of Saint Joseph, pray for us and have mercy on us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I have revealed my most chaste heart so that you would see my love. Truly, I am the saint of all saints, guiding you to my spouse, the Blessed Mother, and to my beloved foster child, Jesus. Know that, although I am hidden, I am with you always. I give you the blessing of the Almighty Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Now go in the peace of my most chaste heart. Ad Deum. Mm -hmm.